Welcome to Cobra's World, the show with an all-access pass where we meet, chill and hang out with the world's sports betting Cape Cobras on and off the park. Join in the adventures as we delve behind the scenes, meeting this new generation of Cobras players that make up one of the most successful franchises in South African cricket. Who knows, there could be a whole other side to them you never knew. With food playing a major role in any cricketer's life, it was only natural that the world sports betting Cape Cobras eventually paid a visit to one of the culinary institutions of Cape Town, Bibi's Kitchen in Weinberg. The famed Indian restaurant recently celebrated its 30th birthday, and with Dane Pitt being an ambassador for the establishment, the Cobras captain brought along some fellow players to experience the family-run business firsthand while taking each other on in a lamb curry cook-off. Dayan and, and Kyle still stay at home, so they've got to cook together, see what they come up with. Uh, myself and Avi, obviously the more experienced guys, uh, so we're going to be teammates up against the, the two youthful um, Perena and Kalim. Uh, but hopefully we can we can pull through. I think we'll, we, we're going to win this. Kyle apparently tried to make an omelette this morning and he couldn't do it, so I think we, we, we got this comfortably. I cook quite a bit at home, so uh, I should be alright. Um, <laughs> I can do anything, I can chop onions, I can cook the meat, I can... anything. Before I decided to uh, pursue cricket as a career, uh, I, I really wanted to be a chef. So uh, yeah, I started out a couple of years ago trying to learn how to be a cook and that sort of lasted about three days. So I think... Uh, Going into this, I'm quite nervous, you know, going into our old territory, learning how to cook again. So yeah, it's, it's, for me it's quite a big day and hopefully I can uh, prove to myself that I actually do have it in me. Not, not used to cooking a lot. Um, I'll just take something out the packet there at home, you know, buy it from Willy's or something and I'll put it on the pan for a bit. I think that's the most cooking I've done. All in all, these aspiring young chefs are more Gordon Greenwich than Gordon Ramsay. So after the quartet received their kicks, so to speak, it was off to the kitchen to see where the magic happens. The mystical place where incredibly delicious meals such as chicken tikka masala and king prawn biryani are produced. Now it was time for the players to do the producing. So we'll all be going in. Ginger and garlic. That's calvarena, ginger and garlic ginger. together. Uh, curry powder, salt, turmeric, turmeric. Now yeah, we're on top of a game at the moment. Yeah. So what about the youngsters? Yeah. Carl thought this was sugar. Carl thought this was sugar. <laughs> and this is a kilogram of lamb. That's it's already, it's, it's, to be fair, it's already been prepared for us, so make things a lot easier. And I don't know what the, these things are. Coriander, by the way. We're well ahead of it. We look a lot more relaxed. What is this? Say what? Yeah, well, this is exactly. really an unfair advantage. We didn't even have knives yet. And these and guys are mean, cutting their onions. You never chopped an onion in your life? They say you get to prepare your stuff early, but it's, it's clearly an advantage of some sort. Of course, the players weren't left entirely up to their own devices. Keeping a watchful eye over proceedings was the legendary Bibi herself, an encyclopedia of knowledge when it comes to Indian cuisine. She was more than willing to offer her expertise and guidance to the players who desperately needed it. It's awesome to have them here. Uh, we've had a long association with the Cobras, uh, our family being massive fans, and also the Cobras may not, it may have been known to everybody, but they're massive fans of ours as well. Um, very often after trading, a couple of them will sneak in for a quick cutty, you know, uh, but, but don't tell Ashwell about that. Um, yeah, and also we've got Dane Pitt as our brand ambassador for the season. So it's a great relationship. I'm not one of the judges. I mean, we saw the Proteas up for a spicy challenge with the Indians earlier this season, but I think these boys are even up for an even spicier challenge later. The making of a great lamb curry is no easy feat, and at Bibi's they take exceptional pride in their meals, particularly when it comes to one of their signature dishes. Only the best meat and ingredients will do, while ordinary is simply not an option. The two teams got stuck in with great gusto, but as always, Bibi was close by, ensuring that total disaster didn't ensue. Did you not hear what she said? I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> How can you say that? Well, you 
see they saying our coloring is a little bit off, but for me, you just got to understand what the judges want. And uh, I think today the judges wanted a little bit more yellow, so we've gone for a more yellow approach. We, we are going for the less heat option, so we're hoping that the judge prefers ours to the more heat, heat option. So that, that's something that that we just that I discussed with the skipper, um, and he agreed to that. So let's see how it goes. Looking very good. He's under the pump. He tasted our food. Now he's adding stuff. <laughs> ah, you under the pump, my man. Now we bring the flavor. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Why did you do that? My tongue is numb. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> What's going on here? Why did you do that? I think we're ready to win this time. Yeah. Now it's good. Very happy with what we've done so far. Uh, we just we just topped it off with Dania and Achali. Um, but now we're gonna roll the roti for the she's gonna show us how to do it and then we're gonna do our own one. And hopefully it comes out on top because I think right now the car is. She said the keys will come closer. The keys. The separation of the oil. You can see that 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 separation of the oil and the water and that stuff. That's the key to an excellent car. That's what Mrs. Bray told me. And I think that's exactly what we see in the pot. So we're making strides there. The roti looks a lot better than this. <laughs> what looks better? The roti or this? For the extra followers. Okay. Too soon. Hey. <laughs> we are willing. The Cobra's Quartet Sydney seemed to be firing on all cylinders when it came to both the lamb curries and the rooties. With the cooking done and dusted, it was time to plate, Instagram and deliver. Winning team! Yeah. Yeah. One, two, three! Winners! <laughs> As if a decision had been sent upstairs to the third umpire, Two teams now face the lengthy wait to find out who would be crowned the Curry Kings. The umpires, Shukri Conrad, who is CSA's high performance manager and regular client of Bibi's Kitchen. Bibi's sister and arguably the biggest Cobras fan in the Western Cape, Zubeda Bray, and Cobras brand manager, David Brooke, the three people who certainly know their curries. The team watched on in hushed silence, but eager anticipation as their creations were sampled. It's obviously not the quality that Bibi's normally provides, so um, if it's anything like the Bibi's food, then it will be of a high quality. What am I looking for? A lovely tasty meal. Uh, meat that's been cooked through properly. It must be, um, must be tender and very tasty. If it's overspiced, I'll say so. And if it's underspiced, I'll also say so. Cooked through really nicely. Um, the rooty, the rooty is good. Um, I would like to have uh, added a bit more spice, a bit more seasoning, uh, because it is at the end of the day a curry. Just a bit saltier, a lot more salt in it. A lot more salt. Is it too much? You could cut the tension with a knife. The, the hero of the dish is going to be the curry, not the rooty. So for that alone, I'm going to give this curry a nine out of ten, and I'm going to score that curry for the for the blandness, for want of a better word. I'm going to score that a seven. First curry nine, and the first roti ten, so the score is nine and a half. The second one, the curry, definitely has got too much salt. So I'll give that a seven, and the roti I'll give an eight. I prefer that roti. Uh, mine is obviously the swing boat, so I'm going to say that the combination of the first one, the, the black dish, wins it for me. I'll give it a nine out of ten. 
So, a resounding victory for the young guns, Carl Verena and Diane Khalim. Proof that Carl's dream of becoming a Michelin star chef will not be entirely misguided. Although the Cobras will be hoping that he sticks to cricket for now. Unlucky here for our VW and Dane, uh, coming up second best. We do have a consolation prize for them, uh, some of the Brave family uh, recipes for them to own their skills and hopefully in a few years time they can come back and apply for a job again then. Alright. How about you? Well, you know what, we got a lot of abuse from them in the start and I'm just glad that we can put them in the place. Uh, sometimes the, the exuberance of youth just uh, pushes the, the experience of seniority over a little bit. Um, for me, uh, we got, like Blythe said, we got abuse in the beginning saying we've never cooked in our lives and you know, throughout the Throughout the whole time that we were in the back there, um, they were saying, yeah, it's looking terrible and all that. And we just said, let's wait for the end. Um, and I'm just glad that we that we pulled through and, and you know, got got each other over the line there with a, with a, with a, with a W. So, listen, we're definitely going to cook for our missus now because, I mean, we want to. <laughs> what a win. What an experience. And what a restaurant. We hope you enjoyed your look at the World Sports Betting Cape Cobras and thanks for joining us. Be sure to check us out next month for an all new and insightful episode of Cobras World. Follow the team on social media and don't forget to check out the Cobras World digital magazine.